You know, I was talking to Christine uh, today about something, and she suggested that I bring it up in our blog. And it has to do with um, some really deep emotional things that are coming up. And I think it's because we're so into this fast that we're, you know, we're in the final stages of detox where the blood is being detoxed. But I think what people don't talk about has to do with deep past emotional um, buried things that start to come out because you're starting to shed pounds, you're shedding negativity, you're shedding, your cells are shedding junk. Yeah. Um, if, and you, if you're doing enemas, you're shedding in other ways. Um, you should be doing the enemas. And, and those enemas, by the way, when you think nothing could come out of you, and things do come out of you, those are things that have built up over years and years and years. And if you think about how long it might have taken, if, if, if you're someone who's overweight, and you're doing this because you're overweight, think about how many years it took to get to that overweight place. And this is what I've been thinking about. Years, like 30 or more, to just, you know, I never had a weight issue when I was really young, but... It's an accumulation. It's an accumulation, but you now, like when I lived in New York City and I was under a in a stressful job, I was working at CBS News, very stressful. And, you know, we were, eating, we were all eating um, at work donuts and coffee. They weren't feeding us healthy stuff at the, at the networks. They do now. And so, anyway, years and years and years, partying, eating not well, um, mm -hmm. not eating regularly especially in the industry I worked in. So I think what I'm doing is, at this point, starting to really release and shed this old stuff. And the reason that I'm coming up with that is because we're eating the same, drinking rather, we're drinking the same juices. And I'm having so, such a clearly different experience than Christine is. I feel like I'm missing something, and it could be because I'm emotionally releasing stuff that I that I've held on to over all these years. I have a sadness. It's not depression, but it's just strange. It's a strange kind of mild sadness and I, there's nothing in my life that warrants that. It doesn't fit being sad. So I have to look at other aspects of this fast to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a whole other metaphysical area to this and spiritual area to this too. Fasting is not just physical. There's a lot more going on. What do you think of all that? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I tend to agree that fasting is not just physical. It's definitely, there's definitely a, a spiritual slash metaphysical emotional component. Um, you know, we're be I feel like I'm becoming a different, well, I want to say, I want to say I'm becoming a different person, but I feel like I'm getting closer to being me through this fast. It's not just the weight loss, although that does help, because when you see yourself in the mirror as a completely different person, I haven't been the weight that I'm now or the size, dress size that I am now in many, many years, probably since I was in college. And um, it's almost like I don't recognize who I am, and so it's, mm. it is emotional. Um, I really like it, but it's it's like I like it and at the same time I was saying to you this morning I just bought a size 4 dress which I'm normally between a size 10 and a size 12 always and I put the dress on hold and when I went back to pick it up I started to get worried that it was going to be too small although I had already tried it on so my thinking was oh I must have gained weight between yesterday and today when I'm picking up this dress and I know it's going to be too tight, too small, and I'm going to have to bring it back. And it wasn't. I tried it on, right? And it still fit me. It's loose. So I know that sounds like that's a, the physical component, which it is, but there's so much emotion attached to it, and there's so much getting used to the changes that are taking place, not only physically in our bodies, but also emotionally and spiritually and that kind of thing. So what's this, what are the spiritual changes? I would say the spiritual changes are feeling um, at peace with who I am, um, loving myself more. Um, there's a calmness mm -hmm. that comes, a calmness and a peace that comes with this whole process that I've never felt before or that I haven't felt in a long time. I don't find myself, um, 
you know, trying to suppress my emotions with food, obviously, because that's not possible right now. So it's, it's a process of learning how to just be calm and sit with whatever it is that you're feeling and guide your emotions through, your, you know, changing your thoughts.